Nezuko Bumble Muzzle. First, cut the empty tissue roll and reduce the diameter. Apply glue and attach it again. Second, measure the size of the empty tissue roll to the green colored paper and cut it. Before the third step, I cut an opening for the mouth on both the cover and the cylinder. Third, cover the cylinder with the green colored paper. Fourth, I work with the edge of the muzzle. I cut two circles and make a hole in the center. Then, I cover the two edges with the circles. Fifth, I cut another green colored paper into four. Then, make four thin rectangles for bumble muzzle details. And lastly, I use ribbon to tie it around my neck. Now, you have a Nezuko bumble muzzle. Let's make Shinobu's butterfly hair clip. I printed two butterflies as the outer layer of the design, and I have a thick chipboard for the inner layer. I cut the butterflies and separated the two wings. I glued the wings on the board and then cut it. hair ornament. Let's start with step 1. Cut the black construction paper and make a small cone out of it. Step 2. Cut a small strip of a yellow construction paper and cut into curves on one side. Step 3. Stick the strip of the yellow paper to the black cone. And step 4. Attach the cone to the headband using the double-sided tape. Now, you can wear your Anya Forger's hair ornament. Let's make your forger's white headband. First, measure 2 inches for the width of the headband. Mark them, then cut. Cut curves for the two ends of the headband. Second, cover the shaped folder with one paper. Then, attach it to the headband with a double-sided tape. Third, Make the details by attaching big circles and small circles together. Fourth, attach the circles and the yarn using the double-sided tape. And lastly, attach the brown colored paper and the headband for the details. Now, your your forger white headband is ready to wear. Let's make Anya's school uniform tie. First, I printed a pattern for the pin and colored it to make it look more vibrant. Also, I use cardboard for the thickness of the pin. Second, I prepared a 10 inch 
inches long ribbon. I folded, then I used stapler to maintain the form. Third, I attached the ribbon and the pin I made using the double sided tape. And lastly, I cut the edges of the ribbon to look more clean. Now, it is ready to wear. Let's make Cheeky's headband. First, put double-sided tape to the headband, then cover it with red ribbon. Kozuki Hiyori's hair ornament. Cut the colored paper into two. Fold the half of construction paper into two, then form a triangle. Cut curve on the one side of the triangle to make a flower. Make four flowers in one colored paper. Remove some petals from the flower as you can see in the video. Don't throw the one, two, and three petals you removed from the flowers. Stick the two edges of some of the flowers using the glue. Get the one petal, curl the wider part, and roll the petal in lengthwise position. Get the two petals, flower, and do the same process. Stick them together with the glue. To make the dangling design, cut yellow colored paper, then attached it to the yarn using double-sided tape and glue. You have Kozuki Yogi's hair ornament. <laughs> 